observing for about 32 years out here on the ice cap is how long I've been traveling out here now. There are ice caves that we used to be uh, exploring that are now uh, kilometers away from the bottom of the ice field. And so that's how much change we've seen. And that was a lot of the inspiration really for coming up here and starting the Ice Cap Research Initiative, which really has been going on for about seven years now. So that's what this helps us do. We get to live in this and stage out of here, measure temperatures, measure ice, and uh, and observe. Really, that's as you know, as citizen scientists, that's what we do mostly up here: is observe and record, and then monitor the changes over time. We are more interested in what's going on with the ice itself. How fast does it change? How fast does it melt? What's causing it to disappear at the rate it is? You'll also notice over here, there's all these different layers in the snow from different storms and wind systems that have come through. And some of the things we look at is, how does an annual snowpack, what does that translate into? You know, up here we have 30 feet of snow right now this, this winter, which is, substantially more than most. So how much of that snow would condense into how thick an ice layer? And then you start looking at the decades and hundreds of years and thousands of years that translate into layers of ice inside. So we don't know those answers, but these are some of the key things we're trying to discern because it helps us to understand the rate of melt and, and what kind of changes we can anticipate. It's not just melting on the surface. It's melting from within, and that's the key thing we've discovered. It's, it's the deflation of the glaciers more than the retreat of the glaciers, certainly at this sort of temperate latitude part of the world that is having the greatest impacts around here. Right. Sinkholes, uh, these ice caves, moulins, all kind of creates a Swiss cheese effect within the glacier, mm -hmm. making each part of it weaker and more susceptible. And so the more it melts and the more rock that's exposed around these glaciers and ice fields as well, mm -hmm. the more latent heat that gets held into there at the end of the day, the more impact that has. So it's this exponential mm -hmm. effect. But in this area, the extent of the last ice age was essentially 12,000 years ago. That's how long things have been warming here. Mm -hmm. And we have a, a tiny little piece of ice mass left in the grand scheme of things. So it's, it's going fast now. Mm -hmm. and and we see human impacts right. really having an effect on that as well.